Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be talking about macros. Uh, what a macro is, how to use a macro, and what are the benefits of using a macro. So macros are basically, you can think of them as a function in a way, although it's completely different than a function. So a macro, when you write a specific macro in the program, anywhere in the program, and then you call it here, just like you call a function, what the program does, it actually copies everything you wrote in the macro and paste it here in the main code. How is that different than a function? Well, when you call a function, the program saves the address of the last instruction it performed, and then it jumps to a completely different address where the function is preserved, does that function, whatever the operation of the function is, and then comes back to the address here. But in the case of the macro, it actually copies and pastes the code, you can think of it that way, into your main code here. Now let's demonstrate how macros work by actually writing one. And so the first thing we need to note is that macros can be written anywhere in our main.asm. It does not have to be in a separate file. And so I'm going to come above the variable section here and declare a macro. And the way I need to do that is to give it a name. So I'm going to give it the name multiply, colon, and then the keyword macro. And I, what I want this macro to do is multiply two numbers together. So I'm going to load the first number into accumulator A, and the way I do that is I give it a slash 1, and now when I call this function, or the macro, and I give it two numbers, the first one is going to go into accumulator A, the second one into accumulator B, and then I just need to use the keyword mul to multiply the contents of A and the contents of B, and we need to end the macro with the end M, as an end macro, and, th and that's all there is to it. There is nothing else. Now when I come to the entry, or you can think of it as main, as in C or C++, I need to call this uh, macro, but I also promise the macro that I'm going to give it two numbers. So I'm going to call it just by calling its name, and then give it two numbers. I'm going to give it the number three and the number four. Now what the program is going to do is come to this macro, copy and paste it right here, and then load A with 3, load B with 4, and multiply them together. Now that I have compiled the program, you can see here the macro is written on top, but in the entry, when I called the multiply 3 and 4, the program actually went to the macro and copied and pasted these three lines, LDAA1, which uh, was replaced with the number 3 that I actually gave it to accumulator A, similarly for B, and then mull the keyword. Now when I load A with 3, you can see it right here. When I load B with 4, you can see it right here. And then when it multiplies, it'll be 12, which is C in hex. And we can change the format. You can see 12 is an accumulator D. And accumulator D is just A and B together. So that's really all there is to macro. It's fairly simple, and it's different than subroutines. And we're going to talk about how exactly it differentiates uh, macros and subroutines, or functions, when we start talking about them. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you in future tutorials.